we'll come back for some more examples on how to determine limits of composite functions using graphs. For our first example, we have the limit as x approaches negative one of f of g of x. We begin by determining the limit as x approaches negative one of the inner function g of x, where the graph of g of x is on the right. We're approaching x equals one, this vertical line here, from the left and the right. As we approach from the left, we're approaching from this direction here. From the right, we're approaching from this direction here. Notice we're approaching the y value or function value of negative two. And since the outputs of g of x become the inputs of f of x, the outer function, and f of x is discontinuous at x equals negative two, it's important to recognize here we're approaching from above or y value is greater than negative two. This indicates the limit as x approaches negative one of f of g of x equals the limit as x approaches negative two from the positive side or right side of f of x. Again, we're switching back to x here because the outputs or y values of g of x, the inner function, become the inputs or x values of the outer function f of x. And now we use the graph of f of x to determine the one-sided limit. We're approaching x equals negative two, this vertical line here, but only from the positive side or right side, which indicates we're approaching from this side here, we're approaching the y value or function value of positive one. This indicates the one side limit is equal to positive one, and so is the limit as x approaches negative one of f of g of x. And now let's look at the second example. We have the limit as x approaches four of f of g of x. We first determine the limit as x approaches four of g of x. Here's x equals four. We approach x equals four from the left side and the right side. Notice we're approaching the y value or function value of positive three. Notice f of x does have discontinuity at x equals three. In this case, notice we're approaching the y value of three from above and below, or from values more than three and less than three. This indicates the limit as x approaches four of f of g of x equals the limit as x approaches three of f of x. In this case, we cannot write this as a one-sided limit because again, we're approaching the y value of three from above and below. And again, we're changing from y values of g of x to an x value of three because remember, the outputs of g become the inputs for f. And now we go to the graph of f of x and we're approaching x equals three, this vertical line here, but we're approaching from the left and the right as we approach from the left, we're approaching from this direction. From the right, we're approaching from this direction. Notice from the left, we're approaching y equals one. From the right, we're approaching y equals negative two. Because we're not approaching the same y value or function value, this indicates the limit doesn't exist. So in this case, the limit as x approaches four of f of g of x does not exist. I hope you found this helpful.